Welcome to Columbia, Missouri. Memorial Stadium and home to the Missouri Tigers where we are anticipating quite a clash on Faroe Field today. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Boston College Eagles, taking on the 10th ranked team in the land, the Missouri Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Missouri about to kick off to lift the lid on this one. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Boston College Eagles offense takes the field. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. Boston College wants to play fast. To the air, it's Castellanos. Fires to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Franklin. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Good enough for a first down. Boston College putting together a very efficient drive. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got it in the middle. It's Bond. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Castellanos. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Now they'll run the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Up. 
And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Missouri Tigers offense will take the field for the first time. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Man, I just love physical backs that break tackles and get those extra yards and show that toughness, Palmer. He's so hard to get on the ground, David. He plays with great pad level and also has phenomenal balance for a running back. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. After ripping off a big chunk of yardage, you figure they're going to go right back after him. First and 10 from the 31. Give to the single back. Quick step and go. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot. But nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Leaves it with the running back. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Back to throw, it's Cook. He's got it, and he will score! Touchdown, Tiger! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner goes down. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mines. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. 
Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interested to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. The Golden Eagles want to pick up the tempo. Here's the handoff. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Back to pass, it's Castellanos. Got his man down the middle. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And that's really got to make this offensive coordinator feel good. You get a completion on a big third down early in the game, and that should give him a lot of confidence calling plays this game. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Caught in the backfield. It's Bond. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. We played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Missouri. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got out of trouble and throws. That's caught. It's Grovacho. He makes the stop almost as soon as he catches it, and they're short of the first down. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Third down coming up after the completion. Back to the air one more time. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Well, the receiver getting a little ahead of himself on that one. You saw him calling for the ball. He thought he was wide open. He thought that was going to be an easy catch. The ball finally gets to him, and he drops it. If you're going to call for the ball like that and call your shot, you've got to secure the catch. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. They'll go to the ground. Pushes ahead for a couple get at the 33. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They'll try to pop the draw. At the 45 on his they finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. The quarterback and the offensive line really do a good job. What do they do? They sell pass first. Everything looks like pass. Nope, they hit you with the run. Really great job working together with a little bit of misdirection. And the Tigers racing to the line in the hurry up. They go to the ground. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Looking to throw for it. Got it in the middle. It's Burden. 
Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. It's a draw. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Dropping back, it's Cook. Shoots it to the left. Holds it in. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that play. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. Makes the catch. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get on the field, you got to keep defending. you got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. Missouri comes up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Trying to pound it in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And in that situation, the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys flying to the ball. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Third and goal, where you separate the wheat from the chaff. To throw, it's Cook. Let's it fly. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. He wants to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's McGowan. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. 
You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, it's Castellanos. Hit as he throws. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's looking to throw it. Snag on the outside. It's fine. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. But on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. With the catch, it's McGowan. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Boston College coming to the line after moving the chains. Trying to find his man on first down. Quickly to the tight end. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find the rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands... This is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Brings up second down. Play number 10 on this series. Looking for a man. It's Castellanos. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. And it's third down, but they're taking no chances. They'll send the field goal unit out before halftime. It's good. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. 
He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Columbia. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Boston College ready to kick things off and start the second half. He'll bring it back, looking for help. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Off play action on first down. Got his man on the right. And he goes down after making the grab. Picked up a few, but he's still short of the first down marker. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Trying play action. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. He's loose at the 20. Touchdown, Tiger! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts him on top 21 to 6. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit. Just start being more aggressive and take some chances. But that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. Dropping back, it's Castellanos. Quickly out to the tight end. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz. And not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end. And he add the answer to the test right there. Caught behind the line. It's Bradley. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. In offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, go, which is built in the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Boston College right back to the line. The give to the back. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. 
third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Pulls it in. It's Bradley. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass for a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Back to pass. It's Castellanos. Got his man in the middle. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is fear. Understanding where the holes are in the zone. Or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. On target to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. He's going to pass. Quick completion on the out route. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game. And how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the arts with their football? A little ballet moment there. Boston College wants to play fast. On second down, they'll take to the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Bond. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. He's tackled at the five-yard line. First and goal, Boston College. First and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he got nothing in the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. He'll try to dial up a better one this time on second and goal from the five. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Two runs, and this defense has been physical, giving up absolutely nothing. Palmer, what's your passing play I think you go to here? No, I like moving the pocket at this point, Pollock, and also maybe thinking about the tight end on a crossing route. You can kind of get through the traffic, come out the other side. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. He caught it, and he will score! Touchdown, Boston College! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Lining up for the PAT. And after the extra point, it's a one-possession game, down 21-13. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. 
this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. They go to the draw. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Gives it to the back on the draw. Nice move to keep moving. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On the ground, it's Carroll. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Using a quick game. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. Handoff to the single back. They get him stopped at the 30, but not before he gets five yards. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Not just hard-nosed running, that's cement-nosed running as he gets it to the 25. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback, you want to fly upfield every single play, we'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. And you could tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Field goal is good. And now the lead is extended a little far. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on the fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. 
Caught over the middle. It's Bond. It's pretty amazing at this point in the game. They're still in a position to win. Not everything has gone right for them up to this point, but with a couple minutes left on the clock, if they can get a touchdown here, get a stop, and then get another score, they win. But they've got to start being aggressive and taking shots. Boston College right back to the line. Back to throw, it's Castellanos. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Another incompletion on third down. You know, in a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it sets up fourth down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. He'll do it himself. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It will be running backs, it will be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. Now on second down and short. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Grobacho. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Looking to pass. It's Castellanos. Throws to the wideout. Got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. What a great job outside working that route. Not only did he get to the sticks to make sure he got the first down, but also was able to get himself out of bounds. Now we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. On second down, looking again to throw. Works the middle. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on him, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. And the Golden Eagles in the hurry up. He wants to throw it again. Dumps it to the back. Catch in the middle. It's Globacho. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. The Golden Eagles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. And they can't make the connection. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Back to throw, it's Castellanos. 
Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we could debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So, you know what? Nice throw away, QB. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. This is why third down is so difficult for quarterbacks because the defense substitutes, they put faster guys on the field, and they've got all their different exotic looks they've been game planning all week for, some things you haven't seen on film yet, and it confuses your offensive line, it confuses you, and you're out here just trying to make plays, trying to do something right to get a first down. Wasn't able to gain a lot there. Makes a grab enough for the first. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Here's the snap, looking to throw. They'll run the screen. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Looking to throw on second down. This is caught for the late touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He gets it in for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by only three. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Just over a minute to go, and if they have a chance, they've got to come up with this onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Line gets set, first down. Quarterback's just going to take a knee. 